Anyways, before this video started, I wanted to remind all of you that the Problematic Chain docu-series does come out on November 25th this year. Okay, I think I'm in the corner now. I'm not sure if I am. Yeah, I am. So I'm following this on my laptop, so you might just hear in the background the whole time. But yeah. Anyways, like a few days ago, forgot what it was. I already did the survey, but I wanted to do it with you guys and kind of give my opinions on it. So Six Flags already did this once when they replaced Fright Fest with Hollow Fest. They submitted, a, they like sent out a survey just like this, actually with the exact same thing, but I'm gonna really quickly type in my email so I don't look. I'm gonna need to filter a lot of stuff in this video, aren't I? I know I looked shit faced for a little bit, and that's because I am. Okay, so now we're going to start the survey. I just, I don't know why I didn't just do that before I started recording, but yeah, well, no, this is what we're working with. So the first page is like, what's your closest park? Mine's Discovery Kingdom. You select whatever yours is. But anyways, how many times did you finish a uh, visit Discovery Kingdom this year? Six plus times. I have an addiction. I know. When was the last vid to, visit to Discovery Kingdom? It was actually last weekend, and I'm going again this weekend. So watch out for that video in, like, next week about my thoughts on Boo 2020. It should come out then. I'm not sure if it is. But anyways, in October, which is best describes you? I'm a 2020 season pass holder. Anyways, I am actually 13, and I am a male, and I'm not a parent. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even going to try to guess. Which of the following best describes your role in the leisure decisions in your family? Like, I share responsibility. Like, I bought my season pass. I buy most of my season passes. Anyways, how are concerned? I'm somewhat concerned. Like, I'm worried about it, but, like, I'm... I have no life. But I'd say I'm concerned or somewhat concerned, so I'm just gonna go with concerned. Anyways, to get in the holiday spirit, let's think about your favorite holidays and which holidays would you say are your favorites? Um is there a limit? Um I'd say definitely Christmas. Well that works I guess. Um but specifically about well, Christmas makes it your favorite holiday. Um, I just enjoy the decorations, decorations, and just like the people you can spend time with. Yeah, I know. All those are not spelled right at all. Because I have a light in my face and I can barely see anything. Anyways, let's talk about what you did on Christmas Day last year. What did you do with your family at last Christmas Day? Oh my god. I just pulled this letter. Anyways, what did you do for Christmas Day last year? Check everything you did. I went to a drive through light show, kind of. No, actually no. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I played video games. I have no life. Uh, my town's Christmas tree lighting actually on the first of the summer, but I went to Discovery Kingdoms because I was there. I shopped online. Actually, no, I didn't. I'm broke. Um, let's not lie. I went to... I had Christmas dinner, kind of, like, I ate dinner that day. I worked around the park. I actually went to Discovery Kingdom with my friends. I needed a social life. I did holiday crafts. I baked that night and yeah so i actually did a lot oh my god mm. and i watched movies and didn't see that anyways how far did you travel last year to celebrate christmas day uh i didn't travel and actually yeah i did discovery king was 15 minutes away um how did you travel i drove with my parents in a car because i can't drive because once again i'm 13 now tell us your plans on celebrating Christmas this year. Do you plan to do same same things on Christmas? Maybe with a few exceptions. So I'm just gonna say yeah. Let's yeah. 
What will you do with your family this year, Christmas? Okay, I'll probably once again play video games. I have no idea. I'll probably do some work around the house. I decorate a lot for Christmas. Um, yeah. I'm gonna say have Christmas dinner because I'm probably still gonna eat with my parents and my sister. I'll probably go through a drive through light show because they actually have those in California. Um, I might, if I'm at the park, I'll go to tree lighting ceremony, but that's not in my plans this year. Um, I'll probably shop online, probably cook. And I might visit Discovery Kingdom. Well, no, it's kind of a tradition. I don't know. Um, how far will you travel this year to celebrate Christmas? I'm probably just going to go to Discovery Kingdom. It's going to be the farthest place again. Because I have no social life. Anyways, how far will you travel? I mean, how? I I speak English. Um, I swear I do. Um, I'm probably going to drive with my humans again. Anyways, do you think you will just stay at home or will you look for something outside the house? I'm probably going to look something outside because I can't deal with my family anymore. If you go on Christmas Day, what kind of activities do you want to do? Choose all that apply. Um, probably Discovery Kingdom, probably go see a light show, and that's probably it. Um, yeah. In terms of choosing activities, what's important? I can choose out the three. Um... I think it's definitely how Christmas related they are. My Siri just popped up. Um, I think, especially this year, is how safe they are COVID-19 wise. And I think it's also like just length of acting. Actually, it's fun. Because if it's too long, then it gets boring. But if it's too long and entertaining, it's not. We're considering opening our parks Christmas Day. How would how likely would you be to visit Discovery Kingdom on Christmas Day if this year were open? Probably very likely. Like, to be honest, you should do an overnight. That would be really fun. If you were to visit on Christmas Day, taking into consideration everything else you'd be likely to do on that day, what time do you think you'd probably arrive? I normally try to arrive, like, as early as possible, so I'll just say 7, even though the park's probably not going to open at 7. Do you think Six Flags Discovery Kingdom shall offer something special on Christmas Day? If so, um, tell us below if not feels free. They're not going to do this, but like an overnight would be fun. Like, that'd be fun. I've only done an overnight a few times at St. Cruz Beach Boardwalk with my old Boy Scout troop. It was fun. How would you like, um, yeah, so now it's just questions about the survey. It was, um, just right. Like, it wasn't too long. They've done really long enough. It was com somewhat confusing. It was fun. It was interesting, I guess, you yeah. know. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that's the server. Okay, yeah, not server. I speak English, I swear. Oh my god, for a second I thought I wasn't recording. Anyways, let me grow myself back all the way for the screen. It's gonna take a second. Oh my god. Now my screen recorder is glitchy on here. We love a glitchy screen recorder. Anyways, uh, that's all for the video. And... It was a really short one. I didn't do much. I, a lot of these videos recently are really short and they're going to continue being short because I and a lot of other friends of mine are putting a lot of effort into the docu-series. Not series. It's just one long thing. It's like 40 minutes, 30 minutes it's looking like um, for the problematic chain. And the trailer's out on my channel now, and the problematic chain, once again, comes out on November 25th of this year. So with that, I hope you guys have a great, success not successful, I don't care. Um, You do what you want to do with your life. Anyways, I hope you have a happy and successful day for the rest of this night, because I'm posting this at 12 tomorrow. Anyways, uh, you have hit the break run and have a great rest of your day. Okay.